Yeah, and we're going to watch people do amazing things with their bodies. Ooh, next on USA Up All Night. We're going to see amazing things tonight. We're going to see incredible WBF bodybuilders and champions. We're going to see a guy lift a car. I have no idea why I'm jumping up and down, but maybe it's for your enjoyment. We're going to see girls doing aerobics. We're going to see people doing amazing things with their bodies. We're going to see a guy try to lift Rhonda. Now there's a feat. But we also have two great movies, and that's what we're here for, right? Fortress of America, about a group of mercenaries who really know how to ruin everyone's fun. And... Cameron's Closet, a movie about a charming little boy with telekinetic powers who unleashed the devil himself. Well, but first we'll see Fortress of America. It's a movie about the forces of good and evil. The evil guys are the mercenaries who kill innocent people and blow up innocent cars. They come complete with an evil theme song. In the woods they came to train, yeah, learn how to kill, uh, learn how to maim, ooh, yeah. It's Rhonda here at the WBF Personal Fitness Expo. And of course, it's very important to stay in shape. Now, here are some of Rhonda's hints on knowing when it's time to begin a personal workout program. It's time to begin a personal workout program. One, if lying down and sucking in your stomach as hard as you can, it makes it harder to button your jeans. Two, if your bow sizes you up and says, honey, did you notice how thin Roseanne is looking lately? And three, you know it's time to start that personal fitness program if your lover hugs you in the dark and thinks that he has you from behind. <laughs> I'll be right back after these very important messages. The Flexing Dutchman, Barry DeMay. <laughs> up all night and I'm with Barry DeMay. We're sort of like dancing a little bit. He took fourth place in the WBF championship. Wow, you're incredible. Now everyone's been talking about your legs. So Rhonda like took a, a sneak peek. <laughs> you want to see them right now? Yeah, I would love to Barry. That was sort of a hint. Do something amazing. Oh my God, that's amazing. I like that, huh? What do, you, what do you do to do that? Do you just like a few little uh, leg lifts every day? Uh, what did you say? What kind of show you are in the night, a late night show? Late I, night. I do a late night workout. Oh, 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 oh Barry. All right, I'm going to stand right here. Will you just like very, very, very gently hold me? Because coming up next in Fortress of America, you'll hear about John's brother's cold blooded murder. Ooh. Uh. You'll see a man who dared to question the fortress. <laughs> and you'll meet Leslie. It's a pleasure meeting you. And yes, she wears that bikini for the duration of the film. I'm Rhonda, and we're talking killing courage and cleavage on USA Up All Night with Barry. You've got your own little cleavage going, don't you? Come on, turn around. <laughs> WBF champion, Gary Schreiber. It's Ron here in USA, up all night, and guess what I found? The champ, the WBF champ, Gary Stryden. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Second year in a row. Second Are you year. Excited? And years to come. Very excited, definitely, yeah. Was it just as exciting this time as last year? More exciting. Really? Because you're talking to me now. I oh. never talked to you last year. Oh, wow. Does he know the right thing to say? Look at that trophy. Can you just show me your trophy? Can you pick it up? Because it's sure. really heavy. It is heavy, yeah. Feel this. Well, I'd rather. Feel this. <laughs> Tell me the difference. <laughs> okay, would you put that? Down. Would you put that down? Could, would you would you do one thing for Rhonda? What's that? Please. 
Would you take off your shirt? <laughs> Come say on, please Gary. again. Please. Say king. Yes, king. King. Whoa! Yes, the king is doing it. Rhonda can get away with anything on the show. Wow. How about a hand for Gary Stryden, everyone? <laughs> Wow. Okay, now I have one more thing I have to ask you to do for Rhonda. What's that? Will you um pump up my Reebok? <laughs> Ooh, this is Rhonda, and we're back after that really steamy love scene. I mean, in the movie. Let's look at that again. Ooh, she must really like him, because making love on a rug like that can leave your back looking like one of those relief maps. Oh, so I heard. You know, one of those textured guys. Anyway, on with the real important stuff. Jim Quinn. You came out second in the WBF championship. That's really exciting. Are you excited? Yeah, I was excited, but I think the only thing that Gary had over me was uh, his pecs. <laughs> and, uh, obviously, you're doing pretty well genetically in that department. I can't do that, though. I mean, unless I do that. Yeah, well, you got to work on it. It's, uh, it's kind of a mind-muscle link thing. Can you do the other one? Oh, yeah, they work symmetrically. So. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Now, this is really cool. Like, Ron, I mean, this is heavy. Do you like this? Yeah, it's a nice toy. It'll probably be good for, uh, like, my trophies hanging dirty laundry over or something. I, the, the uh, you know, the credibility and the... Uh, the money that we make from it is really important thing. I know, so you're going to be a star now? Are you going to go do television and film and, and things like that? That'd be nice. Really? Yeah. Do you have a jealous girlfriend? Um, somewhat. She's staring at us right now and probably not very happy, but what are you going to do? Well, Hard I guess job. there won't be any kissing scenes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fun part of my job. <laughs> Jim Quinn, the future of Wow, what a mouthful. And I'm standing here with Nancy Georges, who is Miss Fitness USA. Yes, that's right. This is not a title like Miss America, where they asked you like what you would do for world peace, or about world peace, is it? Definitely not. <laughs> Actually, that's one of the differences between a fitness and uh, something like a beauty pageant. It's a combination between bodybuilding and a beauty pageant. It's right smack in the middle. The women are very physically fit, but not overdone with muscle. They also have to go through a physical fitness routine. They also have to look very nice in an evening gown. Oh, is that true? I was thinking yeah. it was all bodybuilding. You actually you put on the evening gown? Yeah. Do they ask any questions at the end? Actually, you, they don't ask you any questions. You can basically freely talk about yourself, about fitness, anything that you want. So it's a little more down to earth. Now, now what are you going to do after this? After, after your reign in 1992, you go on and continue bodybuilding or movies in store? What's in store? Um, actually, I have a TV series that's coming out in the fall, and I've been working on that. Whoa, here's a lady with a bright future. Anyway, thank you, Nancy, very much. But now, let's get back to our movie, Fortress of America, where we'll see a woman with upside-down cleavage. And for those of you with unusual taste, there's a bald soldier lady. There's something for everyone in USA up all night. Right, Nancy? That's right. <laughs> I'm very happy to finally see you in the top five. Congratulations, David. Thanks, Tom. It's Rhonda here in USA Up All Night, and I'm standing next to David Durf. And you came out fifth last night. Fifth. And that's yeah. great. Are you excited? You're uh, like, uh, I'm, no, I'm no. ecstatic. This is this is great. Is this it's your a, first time? First time for placing in the top five. Yeah, last year um, I was like sixth or something, just barely out of it, and. Uh, this year, I, I was great. So Fifth next great. year, all the way. All the way. Now, I did hear that you did something really special. You did rock and roll. Of course, yeah. That's so different. Uh, different for most people, not for me. I, just, I love rock and roll. That's all I listen to. And uh, I came out on stage with my guitar and started playing some music and had fire shoot out the end of the guitar. And you great. flexed. And I flexed. Can you do yeah. a little flex? Oh, uh, what? Are you, okay, sure. Just a little. Just a little. Whoa, rock and, and a tattoo. A tattoo. That's so everything. cool. And three earrings. Yeah, four. Rhonda <laughs> likes that. Okay, I've got David. In the meantime, we're going back to Fortress of America on USA. Up all night. Good luck, congratulations, and thanks. I need this. No. Ah, it's Rhonda here on USA. Up all night. Yes, and I found number three, third place, WBF championship. Yes, we have Aaron Baker here. Aaron, were you excited? I'm still excited. I'm ecstatic about the results and even happier that uh, I was in the top. Okay, now, 
I know you want a lot of money. I know you want a lot of money. Show me, show me, come on, show me. Mm, show, come show on. Her. I, I love the trophy, but show me, like, come on. Gold is nice, but not that I'm into material things or anything, but just show me that. Paper's better. Oh my, oh my gosh. Not bad for night's nice work. Yeah, night's nice work. You work. Tell me how much you work out every day to get that. How much? Uh, between two and three hours normally just before a competition. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I actually have been working all year. So. Right, just tell me really quickly, what do you eat? What do I eat? I what don't know. I eat is an easier question to answer. Do you eat beef and stuff I eat like beef, that? Beef, chicken, turkey, fish, eggs. Egg Anything white. you want. Pretty much. <laughs> All right, Aaron, congratulations. Thank I know you so you're, much. Well, you're, you're great. I like you. And so does USA Up All Night viewers. And we'll be back right after these very important messages. Thanks a lot for your support. <laughs> and everything, but I really have to admire Leslie. I mean, here she is in jail, wrongly accused because of a corrupt system, and yet she doesn't forget how important it is to keep up with the latest fashion magazines. Here she is with John. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here, but I'm going to get out. While he's planning an escape, she's learning how to have a tighter tummy in just 10 days. Now, I'm standing next to Anthony, who is... Undoubtedly, he is, unequivocally. Is that the right word? <laughs> the strongest man in the entire world. You said you can pick Ronda up, is that true? Yeah, of course, it'd be easy. Really? Yeah. Can we try it? Yeah, let's try it. I don't believe it, but okay, <laughs> what do I have to do? Okay, hang on. Yeah, this way. You're gonna sit down. Okay, not sit down, hang on a second. All right? I'm gonna put my hand under, I'm gonna sit. Ready? I bet a dollar, I bet a dollar, you can't do it. I bet a dollar, you can't do it. I bet a dollar, you can't do it. I bet a dollar. I'm hanging. It's really hard, isn't it, Anthony? Admit it. It's really hard. Oh, don't hang on to my hand. Ready? <laughs> 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 Let me do it, Adam! Oh, I'm just... <laughs> we'll be back! He, he couldn't do it! I had just too much sushi over the weekend! of America on USA oh. all night. Well, that's it for Fortress of America, but cheer up because Rhonda has more fun in store for you. Next coming up, we have Cameron's Closet. It's a story about a sweet little boy who has a closet that growls and then kills people. It's pretty scary, although my closet just for more dividers and shelves. Oh, did you see the movie Overboard with Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn? Well, Kurt built this really incredible closet for Goldie. You just push a button and all the shoes go around and around on a conveyor belt. Rhonda needs something like that. Like Kurt Russell, I mean. <laughs> just kidding, Goldie. Anyway, there's an acting couple in our film, Cameron's Closet. Mel Harris from 30-something and her husband, Cotter Smith. So hang on to your jacket, sort out your shoes, and let's get started with Cameron's Closet on USA. Oh, all night. I'm really excited now. Can you just feel it? Mm. The exciting conclusion of Cameron's Closet on USA. Up all night. That's it. 
it's over for Cameron's Closet and for tonight's USA Up All Night. But don't worry, Rhonda will be back next week with two more incredibly fabulous films. As you know, only we can bring you here. Now you remember, if it's LA, it's Rhonda Up All Night.